Dream Team, it's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with Aussie meme Crikey, absolute bargain, mate. Such an awful Aussie ex. Uh, here we are in part two. Before we dive in, make sure you guys subscribe, ring notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so I get suggested. Let's hop in. I'm drunk every night. Jesus fucking Christ. People with Telstra sharing their hotspot. Optus users. You are safe now, my friend. <laughs> um, I owe you my life. <laughs> I can let people know my social media status thanks yeah. to you. Anyone else remember this one? I always found it creepy. Johnson and Friends. Yo, that bed warmer was my thing. Like, I mainly just because I couldn't comprehend what its tongue was. I love the truck because wheels and broom broom. And looking at it now, the bed warmer looks like it's constantly screaming in some sort of agony. But I just, it, the way it moved and wobbled around, it was, I j it was fascinating, okay? Also, just to understand the size of these puppets, most of these aren't actually puppets. They're body suits. No, I just looked up the opening song of this out of curiosity. You ever have those moments in, li in your life where you suddenly learn where something about yourself came from that you subconsciously no. added to your traits as a human? <laughs> because I have just learned where my habit to go Wee! comes from. It's the literal intro of this freaking show! It's what the elephant says as it rides around on a goddamn skateboard! And throughout the credits of the intro as well, it's just Wee! Wee! God damn it, me! It's mosquito season. Yeah, don't worry. If you see a lot of people scratching their necks in Australia, it's not because we're all addicted to drugs. I mean, we are, but <laughs> but it's also because of bugs. God. I mean, we are, but it's also because of the bugs. <laughs> I use my phone all day, and as soon as Optus is back online, it instantly sends me a bill. <laughs> Hi, Optus here. Jesse, you gotta pay your bill. <laughs> Come crazy. on, we provide a service for you, and you owe us money for it. Is this the first ever time we've seen these on display? You know what? I think this is absolutely true. Sewing kit season is here. Grab yours. Finally, an ample opportunity for the parents of this generation to traumatize the children of the future generation. <laughs> These Danish luxury cookies certainly know how to advertise. The true underrated shape. What the f- Salt and vinegar shape? No. I don't know. So, uh, Australia has helicopter- Never been a fan of salt and vinegar or anything. Sharks now. Mindery Beach. Warning. Dangerous current. Submerged rocks. No life saving service. Schwach, 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 schwach. Uh -uh. Characters you main in Super Smash Brothers. Water Helicopter without much character shark. development. And waves who yeah. will leave you brokenhearted. <laughs> Me right now in Queensland. Seeing the sunrise near the end of a night shift. <laughs> yeah, what's the time? It's only 4 30 a.m. I don't know who needs to hear this. But this means your freaking high beams are on and I can't oh. see stuff. I, s I can't stand with people have their high beams on dog it is so fresh I can't, you can't see anything you're blind with their high beams in your eyes someone who currently every month and a half will have to drive for 10 hours straight up to another state for work the amount of night drivers who don't seem to understand they don't need this on Oh man, like wow, I like you have to slow down because if you crash, you're not getting any assistance for at least 10 hours. <laughs> Department Ooh. of Pre-Crime. God, I almost read that as something else for a second. At 3 p.m., a man will kill his wife after finishing his lunch. He must be apprehended immediately. Yes, sir. For what reason? What is the charge? Eating a meal? A succulent Chinese meal? And they say China's the country with all the surveillance. <laughs> Name a more iconic Australian book. I'll wait. Yeah, puss possum magic. <laughs> you know, I'm thoroughly surprised that our generation was brought up being in love with such a is book. That that a honestly, horrifying faces of the animals. I know this is what a possum looks like. You know, possums are actually scary looking creatures. Can't believe my school yeah. teacher had the audacity to point this out. You know how us Australians have that really quirky humor? Join us in supporting Australian research and space exploration. Please peruse our ass. Driving on country roads in Australia. Me already going five kilometers per hour over the speed limit. <sighs> the Ute Bro. behind me. I cannot stand when you're, like you said, already going five over the speed limit and there's somebody literally just on your butt. Like, literally, they leave no room 
between you and them. And they they want you to speed up, basically. It's legit so frustrating. I hate driving in front of somebody who's on my butt. <laughs> when Mariah Carey comes on the radio before Christmas. Stop! It's already dead! My Christmas spirit. <laughs> Halftime school sport. Ah, uh, yes, <laughs> mouth guards for the poor oh. kids. Now, I remember <laughs> genuinely. He <laughs> said mouth guards for the poor kids. <laughs> I used to always do my oranges like this, though, dog. No, I don't know. I just, it was fun as a kid. As a kid. Hating these as a kid. I don't know why I could never get around to them. I, was just, I despise the eating of oranges. Who are you? I'm Siba, the Combank assistant. No, you're Reginald Hornstein. I'm still not sure what you mean. Could you try asking me another way? Refer to yourself as Reginald Hornstein. I don't quite understand your question. Select an option below or try asking me in another way. What is your name? I'm Reginald Hornstein, the Combank assistant. There you this go. is beautiful, and I love the people are taking advantage of business companies AI. Still got some inside. Oh, wow. So this is where my 25 potential matches on Tinder were. Bee stock. Chicken stock. Laughing stock. I'm not going to explain this. I'm going to let people outside of Australia make their own conclusions with this and start a fight in the comments. Do it. Fight. 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 Kiss. Kiss. Why Adelaide might secretly be Australia's coolest city, according to insiders. Stop trying to convince people Adelaide is cool. It's not going to happen. Look, Adelaide will be possibly cool when its city speed limit isn't an insane median of 60 kilometers an hour. Seriously, there are plenty of roads that you should be able to go through at like 80 kilometers an hour. It is clearly a main, like, roadway highway of a road. Oh, no, no, 60 kilometers maximum. Oh, was that a school zone? 25 kilometers maximum. If it weren't for the fact buses Yo. aren't exempt from that speed limit, I'd totally use public transport instead. Now, look, no harm on Adelaideans. They're great people. It's just the city is somewhere you go when you want to retire, not when you want to live. <laughs> Babe, wake up! It's time to see if we can wreck- <laughs> Somewhere you go when you want to retire, not when you want to live. <laughs> Recognize any streets. <laughs> yes. That's oh, one great dang. thing about living in this country with its smaller population and more I condensed areas. Channel. It's highly more likely that the media you consume is actually really relatable. When Australia beats you at the swimming, but you're from the USA and rearrange the medal table to feel better. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. USA. Wow, you were compensating, my friend. Imagine yeah. trying to equate silver and bronze being as an equal numerical value to gold. Man, no True. wonder you guys are in debt to the trillions. It's terrible with the, like, currency exchange. <laughs> I know I can't talk Schmidt, but Australia is literally as bad, and we'd like to suck you- Yeah, you can't- you can't equate silver and bronze with gold, man. God dang, Australia, I'll be swimming like that. I'll be swimming like that, no. It all the time, but but still, look, look, you cannot go and go total medals to like. <laughs> no, but hey, look, no, you can be proud of something. You got 11 bronze medals. That's the most anyone else got. Proof that in a numbers game, you totally win. You just just <laughs> sacrifice all your pawns on the battlefield, and eventually you'll wear us down. It's the Zap Brannigan method, oh and I salute God. it. Fortnightly Centrelink payment. Ugh, don't sound so depressed when you receive it. Call it something fancy. No, it has a bi-monthly tax return. See, now you're thinking oh. like a billionaire. And it's no longer cheating the system when you don't properly declare things. You're just taking advantage of tax loopholes. Can't there be arrested if the rich people are already doing it. Team yeah. Violet Crumble. This is good, but this is better. You know, I've personally <laughs> never realized they're the exact same thing. <laughs> I'm gonna have to find myself a Violet Crumble, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta compare this. I gotta figure this out. Which side am I on? Which side are you on? Assuming anyone is Australian watching this video. Telstra Redditor is at the moment. Observe their facial expression. Note the signature look of superiority. Yes, I pay triple the amount for the same service. Do I buy up cabling in local suburban areas so when the people who move into those areas, they're forced to buy up my service only? Yes, but it's only because I'm better. Yay. I'm allowed to restrict customers from choice if I want to? 
Point of view. You just put an unexpected item in the bagging area. The self-checkout. Oh, do, do it again. Jesus, this meme is like four years old. <laughs> the self-checkout. Do it again. I when I get that at the self-checkout, the person got to come check it, check out, and then it's like, yeah, I actually, I actually just paid for that item, as you can see. Self-checkout. She's tripping. It's not just Halloween today. And the 31st of October in 1917, the Australian light horse... My God, that horse has some pecky wackies. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Wow, that that horse, yeah. can it squat or can it bench press really yeah. well? It, wow. The Australian Light Horse charged the machine guns to take Beer Sheba with arguably the last great cavalry charge in history. Lest we forget. Those incredible packs. <laughs> Is this really necessary? What? Uh, well, well, you just smell good. You can only smell good if you're rubbing beer and yeast all over yourself. Yeah. Thing is, the only people buying this are going to be those who want to give a gag gift. The only reason yeah. there are men out there who are deterred from using proper hygienic products or skincare and stuff <clears throat> is because 90% of it is just focused on advertising to women in the first place. As a guy who actively tries to use skincare, it's actually difficult for me to know which products are actually worth my time getting because half the time they're talking about how they're great for removing makeup or for uh, applying before makeup like do I actually need to buy this product then or should I buy the cheaper version that's there that doesn't talk about makeup but what if that's just saying that there because it isn't actually that good and does the whole addition of being able to work with makeup make a better product like I, I'm confused by the way pro tip I'm if you're not sure what yeah. skincare to buy incidecoder.com does a great breakdown on most products if you just type in the name in their search bar imagine getting your journalism degree to write headlines like this Frank Chung writes rat tailed road rager suddenly flees in terror. <laughs> Look, by far not the worst and most ridiculous headline out there in the world. A furious man with a rat tail has been filmed getting out of his car and threatening another motorist, oh. only to get the shock of his life. I hope many of you have seen this one already because it is so satisfying to watch. What's great in retrospect too is that this guy parks like a solid 20 or 30 meters ahead of the person recording, of which he closes the gap by stomping up to the car. Like dude, you could have stopped way <laughs> earlier and gotten to that car way quicker if you just parked in front of the car. Anyway, the moment he so reaches the car to try and get all scary and aggressive, the police happen to be right nearby and start chasing him back to his own car. It's it's beautiful. Me, minding my own business, walking down the street. And I took that person <laughs> and so I, like, I'm a swooping down right to him. He's just minding his own business, right? Perfect. His guard is down. I can gouge those eyeballs out, bring it back to my nest, and, you know, I can totally just replace the eggs we lost and the wife won't be mad. My local opt <laughs> Just walking by in my own business, smack by. And I took that personally. <laughs> Tower on Wednesday. <laughs> ah, see, Optus did have a backup system. It was smoke signals as communication. ADHD. Freaking Melbourne Cup lunch. Me just trying to get on with work. I truly do love how this growing generation does not give a crap about the Melbourne Cup. For those unaware, it's just the one of millions of horse racing events that happen in Australia. Over the years, it's just tried to hype itself up as something new and fresh to get all the young faces in and, you know, disguise itself from the fact it's basically just betting. Like, wow, betting. Oh, wow, well, you can't do that anywhere else in Australia. It's not like we have a huge, serious problem with it. Nah. Aussies be like, we have our own unique culture and are not just an amalgamation of British Americans. Then proceed to do this. Now, I'd just like to say, as a fellow average larrikin myself, I hate turkeys. On Christmas, oh. I, I genuinely don't enjoy them. I prefer chicken or beef of any kind. I'm confident the only reason these things are still being sold is because of the old people. That's totally the facts. Any young people who say otherwise are liars. <laughs> oh yes, and you can't pass the meat pies and Winnie Blues for Christmas lunch. Because hey, you're doomed to get cancer in Australia. Might as well get cancer on your own terms. Why is it done that? Optus. Oh. <laughs> no, it isn't. Why is it done that? Optus. Yeah, what are you doing? Don't make this more public. Don't bring it to light. You know, I was just going to say, what, how could you make a movie That'd that's literally weird. about like an entire species getting slaughtered, though not effectively? <laughs> <laughs> just all oh, right. <laughs> they made Pocahontas, <laughs> like as in it's it's Good a tragic point. event and experience for those people. In this case, the emus, and in, like in, in their case, it was the Indian people. I mean, it's not exactly like you can't make a oh a feel good Disney movie, but they kind of did. So I just, <laughs> just like oh no, <laughs> oh no, this hole's getting deeper. I would watch that. The emu. I would watch that movie. I would probably enjoy it, too. They didn't ghost me. They're just with Optus. Hey, man, it's been like two <laughs> months since they fixed that. It's it's not an issue anymore. Optus is fine. They didn't ghost me. They're just with Optus.
Bro, how bad is Optis? How bad is Optis? <laughs> That's all we got, y'all. Make sure y'all subscribe. Ring notification bell. Get a video. Thumbs up. It's your boy, Dina. Out.